Miss Pac-Man actually looks red. <laughs> and the ghosts, the ghosts are not totally the right color either, but I'll probably just have to go in and fix them on a little bit. Since I was having some trouble with my Ms. Pac, uh, with the colors that were going on, I decided to like start to take it apart a little bit. Um, and I thought, you guys have probably never seen the inside of the video game, or at least most people hadn't. So, why not give you guys a look inside an old game like a Ms. Pac-Man. So, right, the first thing I did was take off the joystick, which you see right here. Here's the joystick and the buttons to start the game. And then this is what looks like on the opposite side of that. There's all these connections, wires. Of course, it's really dusty because it's been down here for a while. Look at all those connections. It's kind of interesting to make the joystick work. So when I move it on the other side, it pushes against these to trigger which direction Ms. Pac-Man should go. And then those cords run all the way down into here. There's the front side, the coins go in there. Obviously a lot of coins went in there, you can see. From all the chip paint, coins go in there. And then um, they drop through this whole quagmire of electronics. And eventually, they hit this little, little lever right here, because when you hit this, credits, there, credits, and you can customize your Ms. Pac-Man uh, somewhat with all these different things. Like when you get a bonus Ms. Pac-Man in this case, you would get it at 10,000 points, 15,000 points, or you can be greedy and have no bonus whatsoever. Um, and then how many Pac-Man you start off with. Of course that's all with, without modifying the game at all with mod chips or anything else. So look at all this stuff down here. There's all this Mm, dusty, d disgusting stuff. Um, so this is the back of the monitor right here. On the opposite side of this is what Ms. Pac-Man is playing on right now. Um, right here there are different switches which I was messing with because I had the my color was screwed up. There's three switches right here that affect the screen. And there's two switches on the back here. There's also three more switches that are right in here. And these all affect, actually there's five switches. Three along the bottom here and then two up here and each one of those does something different. These three along the bottom are the hold, the size, and the shift. And then you have the other ones that affect the color and the sharpness. See this is this is where the cords came down from the beginning from the from the front, which is the uh, where the joystick is, and those run down here, run down all along up here, and now those come up here, right into here, and this is basically the, this is the game board. This is basically um, for most of you who have played Nintendo games or have, have used cartridges in the past, this is, would be the equivalent of the cartridge. Um, back in the days, obviously, this was this big, and then by the 80s, or by the later 80s, they were able to, to shrink games down to about the nintendo size cartridges, so basically they fit this game board down to, to about that size cartridge. And um, More wires, more wires, as you see, go down here. And then this is the power supply down here. All these different connections are all part of what makes the power supply work. The cord is attached right here and goes out and goes into the wall. And this little thing turns the game on and off. You can hear. I push it in. Game is off. Game is back on. Again, it's kind of like a reset. But there's also a, a switch up top here that turns the game off and on. Game off, and game back on again. Okay, so everything's back together. There's the Ms. Pack, and there's the Donkey Kong. So here we are, and I messed with the color a bit, so you can see uh, before Pac the Ms. Pac-Man was really red. In fact, most of the board was kind of reddish, so I just went in the back and kind of messed around with it a little bit. The rest of the game looks pretty good, and it's actually this is actually pretty good condition. Or Miss Pac-Man, you can see where people rest their hands because all the paint's been w worn away at right there. Also on this side, well, not so much on this side, but the but everything looks pretty good on this side. The outside looks pretty good, as opposed to the Donkey Kong, which has them, all the stickers are ripped up. Spe speakers sound good, and there's a difficulty chip in this one, which means it's actually much harder than just playing regular Ms. Pac-Man. There's no speed-up chip or anything. 
but uh, the ghosts are just smarter. So you don't really move very fast. But the ghosts, they, they're, they're pretty smart in this. You can see they're pretty much closing in on me. So they quickly find me. Whereas normally they wouldn't find me quite so fast. In a normal game. So, that's the first level. And I always give everyone five, five lives, because that's just more fun.